Hi, welcome to our lesson for today. We are looking at systems technology and we are focusing on hardware. So now we're going to look at how you can choose your input and output devices. Now choosing these devices is very important because it depends on what are you going to use the device for. Now there's different devices that you can choose from. Now these devices would obviously mean that they allow this computer to receive data and receive instructions. Now there are four pictures on my screen. Now these four pictures would obviously mean something about the device. Now if you can check this first screen here, it's a mouse. Right, now the mouse, what are the advantages of using a mouse? It allows ergonomic considerations. It allows you to choose whether you want a wireless or a cabled. They are easy to use and they allow GUI interaction. Now it means that they allow you to interact with your um, um, interface in terms of using your computer, clicking and double clicking and scrolling. Right, the second device is our keyboard. Now keyboard as well, they allow ergonomic considerations. You can have an option of choosing wireless or cabled keyboard. They are also easy to use and they are actually a faster way of entering data onto a system. The next device is a scanner. Now scanners, they capture images from paper. They convert your documents into digital format for storage. They use less paper as well as less ink. And they can take up a lot of time, which is one of the bad things about it because when you scan an image, it doesn't happen quicker. But if you think of a keyboard, it's very easier for you to enter data and that is why we say it's a faster way. And then the last device is a digital camera. Now, digital camera capture images and display them immediately. It can be used for storage purposes. It uses a battery which can be very expensive. So these are some of the input devices and these are some of the advantages as well as disadvantages about them. And obviously with this, you can be able to now make a decision on which device you want to buy. Then moving on to other input devices which are more advanced. You get a biometric device. Now a biometric device has high security. It looks at personal characteristics, even though it can take longer to verify the characteristics, but we still know that it's secure and it's not really easy to forge. So not everyone will be able to try and tamper with your device. Then another one, you have your touch screens. Now touch screens are best for systems with limited options. They increase space on the screen. They can act both as an input and output device. But the problem is sometimes they can get dirty very quickly. Right, another device, we have your data collection devices. Now what's good about these devices, mostly they are mobile and they can collect data wirelessly. All right, and then the next one is your microphone. Now a microphone acts in a way of giving voice commands. It uses software involving sound editing. It provides high quality sound and it needs an ICT device to record the sound. So these are some of the devices that you can think of before you choose which type of input device you want to use. Now, deciding on output devices. Now, again, remember your output would depend on what is it that you are doing. If you are doing a, pr a presentation to uh, an audience of about 40 people, you'd obviously need to project that into a bigger screen. Now, these are some of the uh, uh, examples that we can look at. We have a monitor. Now, monitor will give immediate feedback. The size of um, uh, the monitor will obviously limit the probability and text can be enlarged on a monitor. Then another output device is a speaker. Now speakers will allow you to play sound. You get sound in a form of an output and then the sound quality would obviously depend on the quality of the device. Another output device we have is a printer. Now your printer, you depend on the type of printer you want. 
Now, each printer would differ in terms of whether is it fast or is it slow. So different printers would obviously differ in terms of the functionality. As well, you can choose whether you want to print black or white. And again, that would be determined by the choice of your printer. And the cost. Now, cost in terms of is it expensive to use, is it expensive to buy, or is it expensive in terms of the longer use of the computer, or will it be cheaper in terms of the longer use of the, com of the, of the printer? Right, then lastly, we have the data projector. Data projector projects images for larger audience. They project larger images where you are able to obviously give the audience a bigger view of what is it that you are talking about by having a bigger screen. And then lastly, the quality is not as high as the quality display of monitors. So even though you'd be displaying on a data projector, but your quality there would not be as high as of a monitor. And that is it for our input and output devices. I hope you'll be uh, able to make a better choice. Thank you for joining us.